reported today in The Verge. Netflix has been looking for franchises, and The Witcher may be its answer. Netflix wants people to know The Witcher is just as big, if not bigger, than Disney's Mandalorian around the world. Franchise plays like The Witcher and movies like Six Underground are key to Netflix growing internationally, and they could represent a big part of Netflix's future in a year where competition from major players will start to heat up. In its Q4 earnings report, Netflix said that 76 million accounts watched The Witcher within its first four weeks. It also revealed that Six Underground, a big action flick from director Michael Bay that starred Ryan Reynolds, was watched by 83 million accounts within its first four weeks. If Netflix's numbers are to be taken as presented, Six Underground was a rousing success for one of Netflix's first big forays into franchise filmmaking. And The Witcher will likely have the biggest first season of a Netflix original series ever, according to the earnings report. Netflix's leaders have pushed back against concerns from investors that its series and movies, while plenty, can't compete with Disney or Warner Brothers' big franchises. Franchises are immensely valuable to studios, bringing back viewers again and again and growing their audience over time. But building franchises that lead to spin-offs and years of installments, think every extended universe, like Star Wars DC, Lord of the Rings, and Marvel, takes time, and Netflix is still getting started. Netflix has had hits like Stranger Things and Black Mirror, but as international growth continues and amid incoming competition domestically from Disney, AT&T, and Comcast, franchises with global appeal will increase in importance. Having franchises with big stars that can lead to spin-offs, an array of licensed merchandise, and bring in new subscribers is what the company is striving for and seems to think it's found in The Witcher and Six Underground. There are reasons to be skeptical of Netflix's numbers. It only measures viewership of the first two minutes of a show or movie, less time than a typical trailer, so it's not clear exactly how many people finished either of these titles. And Netflix has yet to announce a sequel to Six Underground. The Witcher, meanwhile, has already been renewed for a second season. Netflix CEO Reed Hastings referred to it as a series that could go season after season, in a call with investors. And just today, the streaming service announced an animated spin-off film. Hastings previously said that Netflix's film ambitions were bigger than ever. Think of the strategy as similar to what HBO is doing with Game of Thrones, and its upcoming prequel series, House of the Dragon. Netflix also seems to have an ability to turn titles into hits when it wants to, thanks to its enormous subscriber base. Bright wasn't well received by Creety. For more on this story, visit the news article link.